Seven people have been charged after an incident in Goose Creek that sent an officer to the hospital last night. Police say an officer was conducting a security check when he saw several women fighting near Two Keys Tavern. The officer tried to break up that fight when one of the women turned on him and began to attack him, we're told. Police said one woman began to start running away from the scene, so the officer pursued her and attempted to tase her. When the attempt was unsuccessful, he suffered from a medical situation and collapsed on the ground. The officer was transported to the hospital where he was treated and later released. Additional officers arrived at the scene and arrested seven females right there on your screen that were involved in this incident. Officials say five are charged with disorderly conduct and assaulting police. The other two are charged with disorderly conduct. Police say they are still looking for two additional suspects that fled the scene. Eight women are facing charges after a fight outside a bar that sent one Goose Creek police officer to the hospital. Anna Harris gives us a first-hand look at what this fight looked like and had the chance to talk with the bar owner and police about what they say really happened. It's been a quiet afternoon outside of Two Keys Tavern in Ladson today, but this past Saturday night shows a different story. In this video with over a thousand shares on Facebook, you can see a group of girls punching each other and a Goose Creek police officer pulls one of them to the ground by her ankle. In another angle, the officer is sitting on one of the women when the girl he pulled down tries to get away. He attempts to tase her. She frees herself and starts to run when the officer collapses to the ground. About 20 seconds later, you see the officer point to something on the ground when a man who the bar identifies as one of their security officers goes to pick it up. Another police officer is seen assisting the fallen officer. Police say Brianna Wright, Dorica Richardson, Jemiah Robinson, Alicia Westcott, and Anja Tonia Brown were charged with assaulting or resisting a police officer and disorderly conduct. Police also arrested Deja Lee today for these same charges, but her mugshot has not been released. Miracle Cromer and Zymonia Fleming were arrested for just disorderly conduct. Goose Creek police say the officer did not tase himself, but suffered from a medical situation. Goose Creek Police Chief LJ Roscoe says, quote, we are extremely disheartened to know that someone that was present last night chose to capitalize with their cell phone video, but opted not to assist the officer at the time of the incident. We as people should strive to be better. When asking bar owner Mark Keller about the incident, he says, quote, Two Keys loves our law enforcement agencies, and we don't feel like it was a fair statement. We did assist. The first person to assist was Two Keys Tavern, and certainly we feel terrible, especially for our boys in blue. We don't feel like we should be vilified by the city for something that we did not do. When asking Roscoe about the assistance, she says their employee threw a piece of equipment at the officer and walked away, adding that is not assisting an aid. Keller also mentions they requested off-duty officers to assist them in deterring trouble on Friday and Saturday nights back in September and were denied. Chief Roscoe says they were denied because they have a policy in place where sworn officers are not permitted to engage in employment with an establishment where the principal business is the sale of alcohol. Chief Roscoe says the officer is going to be just fine and just has some medical follow-ups to do. Authorities say they are still looking to identify one more woman involved in the incident who fled the scene. In Ladson, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.